Hello everyone, welcome back to the Cryptic Crossword. It's been a while since we did a crossword video, and I kind of wanted to do a video, but I didn't want to do any more Spirit Island today. So here we are, doing on, uh, I think this is our last puzzle from 2018, before we travel further back in time to 2017. <clears throat> um, a reminder, as I sometimes do, I don't know, should I like do the rules? It's a mystery, like... I figure the people who watch this are mostly the same people, but then I had a video a little while ago that got like 100 views for no obvious reason. People were showing up there from Google search, and I could never figure out why. Um, most of them left after a few seconds, so it doesn't really, they're not a good reason to explain the rules. But, uh, you know, it's a, it's a crossword, like American crosswords. you got to put a letter in each square, you have cross clues and down clues. The exciting thing is that it's not just a definition. Um, each clue gives you the answer twice. Um, once as wordplay and once as an oblique definition. There's an invisible divider somewhere in the clue, and the left side gives you one, the right side gives you the other. So, playwright mom was introduced to. I assume playwright is the definition? I don't know, maybe not. Maybe was introduced to could be the definition. And there could be a playwright who's a mom or the mom of a playwright. I don't know. Unidentified. The other point is uh, introduced to, you could imagine maybe being like something about the first letter of something, but I don't see how that would all fit together, so. Unidentified gin and tonic concoction with egg in it. Nine letters. Huh. Nine letters with... Uh... I mean, with egg in it looks like some kind of wordplay indicating egg or a word meaning egg is inside of something. A concoction you might call a potion or an elixir. But I don't really know what to do with unidentified. I guess probably a gin and tonic concoction. So maybe unidentified is the definition. And then we have some kind of gin and tonic concoction which has egg in it. That is like, not the dr the drink normally has egg in it, but like I, I am not very familiar with alcohol. Martini? What? That's not gin and tonic, right? It's like vodka and olives, right? I don't know. Knickknacks for book binders. Well, knickknacks could be the definition, but equally, knickknacks for book could also be the definition. Um, to me, this one looked kind of like a double definition where Either knickknacks for book and binders, or knickknacks and for book binders. Both define the word somehow. Like, what do book binders use? Some special kind of, not fabric exactly, but material? I don't know. And what's another word for knickknacks? Doodads? Um, tchotchkes? I don't know. Vellum. Vellum is some kind of thing related to book binding. Is it like a glue they use or something? What is vellum? It's a prepared animal skin. Typically uses a material. Okay, so it's like parchment, basically. All right. So not actually related to book binding. Pretty postcard features spelling mistakes. Typos? Typos aren't really spelling mistakes. But that, I don't know, that usage is becoming common enough that it probably would be fair. It's probably in the dictionary somewhere. 
So what does this have to do with pretty postcard features? Pretty postcard features. I'm not so sure about this typos. I'll put it in pencil, I guess, just so I have something written down. It doesn't feel so demoralizing to get nowhere. Which, reminder, by the way, I almost never solve these without help. I've only done one in my life, so don't expect this to be finished without me asking the computer for hints. Susan from TV, film, theater, etc. Left and took a different path. I don't really know a lot of like famous Hollywood types, celebrities. Susan Sarandon is a famous Susan. Susan um, Summers, is that a person? But none of that looks at all related to this left and took a different path opens new sunblock removing bottle bottles cap so i think bottles cap should probably be the letter b yes okay finally i get one this is unlocks uh which is a which means opens in some situations. And if we took sunblock and wrote it in a new way, i.e. In, in the wrong order, and then removed the cap of bottle, we could have unlocks, removing the letter B and then rearranging all the letters. Translated crude pigeon for dessert. Two words. I don't know. Um, let's look at the ones where I have uh, some help. Tom Cruise arranged. Tom Cruise is nine letters. Arranged looks like an anagram, and we have a U. So, for theater job. Come on. I can get this, right? Ugh. Suit? You could fit suitor in here with the letters in Tom Cruise. That doesn't seem like a great idea. If I did that, what would I have left? M, E, and C? Well, that's, that's clearly not right then. Ah, okay. Maybe, I, I can come back to this one later, either when I'm willing to waste more time, spend more time on an anagram, or when I have a couple letters for it. Wow, a four word clue. Raising little dog. Send a thousand dollars and receive some support. Get a leg up? That would be a way to receive some support. Does that have anything to do with raising little dog? Or send a thousand dollars, by the way. There, like, there should be an M in here somewhere for, or a K? Yeah, a thousand dollars you might call a K rather than like an M, like a Roman numeral M. Usually when you see a thousand, it's an M, but a thousand dollars, that might be a K. Uh, 
I mean, I want this to end with like pup, right? Raising little dog pup. I don't know. Influence prankster and make a scene. Not sure. Horrible bosses constantly worry. That'll be obsess. Which is a horrible way to spell bosses and means constantly worry. Still don't know anything about cocktails, really. Varied enterprises. Okay, how many letters in enterprises? 11. Great. To scatter here and there. Disperse? Is it? I'm going to use too many P's and not enough T's. This P is looking good, though. And there's a P, so that's something. I know when we were looking at this one, the P might be wrong, but I still don't see a particularly good way to solve this, even if I ignore the P, so I'm leaving it in for now. Enterprises to scatter here and there. So many E's. I don't know. I'll come back to that. It's a long anagram to do with no crosses. Fourth incomplete question about Garfunkel. Art? Art thou? I don't know. Because it could be like something that means fourth, which is an incomplete question about Garfunkel somehow, right? And Garfunkel, his, you know, Art Garfunkel is, is the name I assume we're talking about here. So I'm going to pencil in an art here. Oh, could it be a quartet? No. Hmm. It could be over here as well, but I don't think so, because usually it would be... Oh, gosh. I don't know. Fourth incomplete. Weird. So I was thinking it could also be a, a question somehow arranged about, i.e. around, the word art, meaning Garfunkel. But then, what would a, how would a fourth incomplete? Like, where would the definition be? So, I don't know. Heard greeting a misrepresentation of sport. So heard can often mean to mishear, like greeting. What's a, what's a common greeting? Hello there. Hi, dude. You know, something like that. But you maybe could mishear it as like a, some homophone for that. Um, like, hey, dude. You could mishear it as like, hey, H-A-Y. I don't know. And then maybe the definition could be a misrepresentation of sport. Although this letter A is troubling to me. Maybe heard greeting is just the first six letters and then there's a, like a literal A and then the definition of mis... Like what could be misrepresentation of sport though? Not sure. 
have a home cooked meal simmering after cutting off edges. Eat in is to have a home cooked meal. Simmering after cutting off edges. What does that mean? Ah, simmering can mean heating. I wouldn't have thought of that, but okay. And if you cut off the edges of it, the H and the G, you get eat in. Draft animal, among other draft animals, two days each year. What are two days each year? Some special holiday of some kind? Draft animal. So, like a draft animal is like something that carries something. That's what a draft animal is, right? Like a donkey is a draft animal? One that's used to aid in work or labor. Okay, ox pulls things, sure. Usually pulling heavy loads. Okay, so not, not like a beast of burden for carrying stuff, but for pulling stuff. So ox are the obvious ones, oxen, um, among other draft animals. So like there could be an OX in here somewhere or oxen. And it could be surrounded by somehow other draft animals. I don't know. Stays the course, returning little bird and venomous snake, yikes. <laughs> Hmm. Little bird. So returning has got to be part of the word play. And what's a little bird? A chick? There's not really any other good words for little birds. I mean, canary, you know, there are small bird species. But are there any that are short enough that you could fit them in here written backwards and also fit all this other stuff? Like a venomous snake could be an asp or an adder. Right? Adders are venomous. Keeps What if I just wrote keeps here as the first word? So when he says the course keeps doing something, keeps it up. That's how you stay the course. But this has nothing to do with returning a little bird or a venomous snake, as far as I can tell. A viper, a cobra, those are also venomous snakes. Huh. Well, how about this? Do I have crosses for eat in? Tumultuous quakes. Making a high pitched sound. Okay, so quakes written tumultuously, i.e., in the wrong order, and it means making a high pitched sound. A squeak. 
is a high-pitched sound. So this K, yeah, I thought it might be right. And, and look at this, there is a Q here. Still don't know what to do with it. Arrest unhinged philosopher. Okay, so we scramble the letters in arrest, I guess, and get Sartre. This, this really looks like keep. Okay, and eek is, e e is yikes. So that's at the end of, we're writing little bird and venomous snake, yikes, backwards. This ends with P. So asp keeps at it, I see. Oh, a tit is a little bird, I okay. So I, I could have figured this out. I just was like, I needed to see evidence that the K and the E were right to make me really think long enough about it. Now, what the hell is this? Oh, wait a minute. It is quartet, I think. Because this is about art, an incomplete question would be Q-U-E-T, maybe? We just removed some of the letters from question. And a quartet is a fourth. I, oh, quarter. Ah, a question is a query. Written incomplete is Q-U-E-R, around art. Got it. All right, this, this quadrant is much nicer than the rest so far. Let's see if I can get something from the crosses here. Additions, running beginning to end. I'm not sure. I don't see anything obvious going on there. Beginning to end could be like in full or additions could be the definition. I don't know. Scare off man who is refined and cleaner. Scare off. I notice fright happens to fit here. F R I G H T, which is related to scaring. But I don't know what you're supposed to put here, or what it has to do with man who's refined and cleaner. Knight's battle is only about love. A knight's battle is not exactly a quest, it's a joust, right? And just could mean only. I'm kind of not clear on how love is just the letter O. But I think this is right. Oh, like XOXO maybe? Signing? I don't know. Seems a little weird. Oh, love is a zero as in tennis. You're right. They always get me with that one. Okay, so we have is, we have only written about love okay this g j rather now that's exciting you don't get j's too often heard greeting j j j j j j mama <laughs> I don't know. 
How'd you doing? <laughs> Draft animal. Okay, well, there's mule, I guess. You can use mules as draft animals, I think. I don't know. Maybe they're more carrying things. I'm getting that mixed up again. But like, what? Where else does this you go, right? Hmm. I don't. I don't know. Uh. And last. Last across. Marsupials missing at production sites. I mean, what are some famous marsupials? We have koalas. We can write koala here. Kangaroos. We can just write roos. There's platypi. Hmm. Well, platypi has an at in it, so it could be marsupials missing at. Which is a P L T Pla A T Y P I Plipy? Doesn't seem right. I don't think these are production sites. Hmm. Weird. But it's it's quite interesting that it happens to fit, doesn't it? Marsupials missing at. Hmm. They already told me recalled expert on iodine. Well, starts with I, I assume. I know, maybe. I knew? Recalled could be written backwards. On, like, I, yeah, I know. Okay. So recalled, this is a little bit surprising, actually, that they're allowed to structure the clue this way to me. Um, because on iodine, you know, should mean that iodine comes under and the, the other words written above it right and it's being recalled so you can say okay like if they just said expert on iodine you could say wonk i and that would be okay and you can recall that and spell it backwards but i feel like on should somehow override recalled uh, i guess not just kind of interesting that's all um it wasn't mule. It's good to know. Heard greeting. What the heck goes J blank I? It's J O I or J A I, right? J joy seems more likely misheard. You can mishear that as joy, J O Y. is not really usually part of a greeting, but like joy to the world. I don't know, it's not a greeting exactly. Short skirts test clergy. Hmm. Minister? How is this right? So minister is a kind of clergy. Minis are short skirts, and somehow T-E-R is a test? That's what I don't quite get. I don't know, but I think it, I think that's right. Nonconformist state maintained by Jagger. I mean, Mick Jagger is kind of the only thing I know that could possibly be here. There's a K in, in Mick Jagger, right? Yeah. Huh. 
Huh. I don't know. Counts cross friend. Counts cross? Cross friend. Jesus is a cross friend. <laughs> Kind of right, um, but I don't I don't see how that could be relevant. In retrospect, surrealist takes to heart one ancient Greek work. Oh boy! So in retrospect probably means something is written backwards, but maybe not. In retrospect, could be the definition. And then we could take a surrealist and add to its heart an ancient Greek work. But what? I don't know. I assume this is the name of some specific surrealist. Dolly is the only one I can think of. So if I wrote Dolly, is he a surrealist? I think so. Dolly. Yeah. Iliad. Maybe? Yeah. Dolly, in retrospect, D-A-L-I, taking to heart one. The Roman numeral one is I. And an ancient Greek work is the Iliad. This is a nice poll. I'm pleased I got that one. Still don't know anything about this Tom Cruise. It's an anagram, but I don't have any help with it yet. So we could look at this. Incognito is unidentified. Gin and tonic concoction. I see. Oh, no. So I wondered. I saw concoction. I was like, is this mixing things up? But gin and tonic is only eight letters. So I, I gave up on it. I don't think I said that out loud, but I was thinking it. But with egg in it, they're adding the letter O in the middle, which is an egg. Um, I assume you can rewrite gin. Yeah. Gin... Tonic, and then an extra O. Ugh. Okay, so now we have another letter here. Tom Cruise arranged for theater job. You have to audition for a theater job? I don't know. Influence prankster and make a scene. Well, an imp is a prankster. I don't know. Still have to figure out this thing, sadly. I'll just keep going on the downs. Test in front of a panel or Jeopardy Clue Giver Live. Uh, I mean, obviously Alex is... So this is 2018, by the way. He's still alive. So I assume Alex is involved somewhere here. Or even maybe it's just Host? But why Jeopardy specifically? It should be Alex, I think. Or maybe actually it's Trebek. I, I'm like these fours make me think Alex, but no, maybe it maybe it's Trebek, and then we somehow add two more letters to make the rest of the thing work. I'm not sure. Classes including individual 
with brains. I'm briefly thinking sentient could sort of mean with brains, and it's eight letters, but I don't see how it fits with the wordplay. Classes. Including individual. Individual could be I. But then we'd have sentent, which doesn't mean classes in any way that I'm aware of. Oh no, that was all of the... All the downs? That's rough. Playwright Mom was introduced to... Met. If you were introduced to someone, you met them. Mom met Mamet. Mamet was a playwright, and Mom met someone. His mom was introduced to. Right. Let me just. I. I. I know that's right, but it's like, what the heck did Mamet write? He. Uh. He. He was a playwright. David Mamet. I'm looking at a list of plays and I've never heard of any of them. Oh, wait a minute. Is he still alive? He is. Just, uh, he's 73, but he wrote some stuff in 2015. The Shard? No, The Shawl. Oh, wow. Look at this. I, this is not, there's nothing particularly exciting about this, but like, this style of script just took me back to my childhood when I was a when I was doing a play in community theater. How old was I then? I don't know, thirteen, maybe a little younger. I had a I had a script that looked exactly like this for um, what was the play called? The neighbor, maybe. Yeah, this is just like, I don't know, a style of script they were using. Maybe they still use, I don't know. But I, I never heard of it. Oh, Glengarry Glen Ross, I have heard of, actually. Oleana? I don't know. So that's the only one I've heard of. Was it The Neighbor? The Stranger? Now I'm like... The Stranger play. The Stranger is an adaptation of a of a novel. Huh. An English translation of a, a 1798 play. I don't know. I, I genuinely don't even remember what I was in. I think it was The Stranger, though. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Knickknacks for bookbinders. Hmm. Well, let's look at this M and T we just got. Nonconformist state. It could be that we're meant to rearrange the letters in a state's name. And then maintained by Jagger? I don't know. Hmm. Counts cross friend. Cross friend. Pal. A pal is a friend. I guess in some sense a T is by itself a cross. So we could look for a four letter word for friend. I don't know. All right, back to the crosses, the uh, crosses. Imp, 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 impact, imp, impact, imp, impact. Yes, it's impact. I thought imp was somehow related, but but um, uh, prankster is imp. And so it's imp and make a scene. And if you make a scene, you act. And to influence something is to impact it. 
So these are looking like typos, actually. This is looking still like get a leg up, but I don't understand the wordplay at all. I think there's something wrong in that word, so in that answer somewhere. I'm still not inking it in. Susan from TV Film Theater left and took a different path. left and took a different path probably ends with an e right took a different path translated crude pigeon oh is crude pigeon 11 letters it is i see so we're re arranging these letters or translating them into a different order so huh and then we have for dessert it's the definition it's some kind of dessert dish i guess egg egg pudding no, I have way too few G's, but it looks like some kind of pudding, right? Um, I use P-U-D-D-I-N-G. So I have an I-E, oh, it's rice pudding. I have I-E-C-R, I don't think it's Eric pudding. So this isn't mini minister, it's something else. Which is kind of a relief because I didn't understand how minister, I didn't understand how test was T-E-R. But short skirts should be minis. But now how is this going to be clergy? Test. Try ministry as a clergy. I see. Okay, well now we have some more help here. Oh, printings are additions. Just needed that one more letter and it just is totally obvious. What is, how does the wordplay work? Running, beginning to end. So sprinting, I guess. Yes, take the word running and move its beginning, the letter S, to its end, and you get printings. Okay. Scare off. Man who is refined and cleaner. Oh, we have another I for the Tom Cruise thing now as well. That's nice. So Tom Cruise. All right, let me let me get out a, a text editor here. Uh, oh, whoops, wrong button. Now you guys can see this, yes. So we have Tom Cruise, uh, and we have used C U I like that means we have remaining T-O-M-R 
S E and it's for theater job. It's not like a customer co co costume costumer. What if I put costume costume a is that a really is that how you uh, is that like the French I mean like I don't know a, a costumer someone who puts costumes on or mid designs costumes rather so if we did that we would have um, we use the T and the O and the M so the only letters I have left are E and R. I guess it's a costumier. Huh. Which is a theater job, sure enough. Knickknacks for bookbinders. Still not sure. We have one more letter here for varied enterprises. Okay, so back to the text editor then. Um, I keep hitting the wrong button because, never mind, I don't want to get into why, I, why I've lost my muscle memory for my keyboard. Um, so we have enterprises, and what we have so far is I, R, and then maybe a P, which leaves me with an awful lot of letters. E N T E P R. Nope, not P. Drop the first I S E S. Intersperse. Intersperse is to scatter here and there. This is looking pretty dang good for get a leg up. I've got all the crosses I'm ever gonna get. And they're all right. Like every one of them lines up with get a leg up. Raising little dog. Well, a pug is a little dog. I was thinking pup, but sure, a pug is also a little dog. <clears throat> Send E L A T E. I see that's a late. Oh, a G is a thousand dollars. A grand, I see. Okay. So, what does this have to do with send? Elate? How does that mean send? I'm gonna look that one up, I guess. Elate send. Merriam Webster elate. To fill with joy or pride. Now, I will say when I search for elate send, one of the autocompletes is a late send crossword. Five letter answers to elates sends. Cause to be. What? Oh. 
Like, I don't understand. Elates can mean sends. And then it lists a bunch of definitions, but like, they're not in the friggin' dictionary. Um, like, if we look up here, uh, how do I show you this again? Elates. Entry one of two, fill joy or pride. Elated. I felt elate? Huh, that's weird. Synonyms. Elevate, enrapture, transport. Ah. These days, it's, it's very old fashioned to say, I felt transported, right? Like I was, I was um, just thrilled beyond belief. Uh, enraptured. Nobody really says that anymore. But transport. Yeah, transports of joy, strong or intensely pleasurable emotion. And so I guess you can have elate. mean to transport which is to send like oh that's a rough one okay so we were right let's get a leg up how about this dat dat i mean this has got to be a vowel right dit dat deter deter is to scare off Det deterrent I just filled it in because it fits I don't know if it's right deter I'm, I'm happy with but this R-E-N-T I'm not so I'm not so in love with Scare off, man. Man who is. Ref oh, detergent. Got it. Um, a man who is refined is a gent, and so if you scared off such a man, you would deter gent, and a detergent is a cleaner. Uh, where were we? We just did intersperse, I guess? Draft animal, among other draft animals. And it starts with an E now. Is there some holiday that's two days long? I really feel like this two days each year has got to be the definition. But I don't really see how. I can't think of anything that would mean that yet anyway. Marsupials missing at ah that'll be wombats. I didn't know they were marsupials. Marsupials. Um, production sites sure wombs are production sites. If you remove the at from wombats, you get wombs. Test in front of a panel. Or, Jeopardy. Clue giver live. So can I just like write Trebek here and then somehow have this make sense? I don't think so. There's a trial. <sighs> I don't know.
Species are kind of classes of things. Doesn't seem to fit. Individual with brains? Geniuses? Oh. Because classes are, geni are genuses. Yeah. Brains are geniuses. In, in a sense, you would say, oh, what a brain, right? Um... And genuses are classes, and if we say genuses including individual, as in I, I don't really like this with. I don't think they should have put that here. Classes including individual brains would be a way better clue, I think. I don't know. Another I here. That's very, very puzzling. So let's say I just wrote in Trebek. It, like, it sucks, right? Treb is not a word. And we need a two four-letter words here. Live or live. Test in front of a panel. Well, pre screen, sort of. But obviously, Wombs is right, so that can't be it. Craft animal. Oh, I mean, you know, two days each year are like solstices or equinoxes, right? Yeah, look at that equine oxes. Or equines surrounding ox, yes. All right, now this is looking like Alex. Right? Ha ah, I don't know how you're supposed to actually pronounce this, um, but this is a greeting. Although, maybe you're supposed to hear it wrong? Oh, now I have to go look up how that's pronounced. Pronounce. It's like French, right? Uh, how to pronounce this? Highly? Highly. Okay. Highly. Heard. So you could, you could mishear this, I guess. But what does that have to do with a misrepresentation of sport? Well, a lie, I don't know. I don't, I don't totally understand what's going on here. Prowl exam, oh, oral exam. So, okay, but why does this work? 
a test in front of a panel is an oral exam. Now, if we said or, the letters O-R, then Jeopardy clue giver, Alex, live? I don't quite understand why A-M means live or live. I guess, like, if I live, I am, maybe? Hmm. Well, we're making like shockingly good progress considering how this puzzle started. I'm actually holding out some hope that I might get the I might I might crack this one. There's only four clues left, right? They're all together though, so if I if I can't if I make progress on one, I make progress on like all of them. If I but I, I have to get somewhere. Knickknacks for bookbinders. Could end with an E, I, E, S, maybe? But like it could end with almost any letter. Almost anything can fit between an I and an S, I think. Knickknacks. Oddities. Novelties. Ooh. Ooh, that relates to books. Oh, do bookbinders need novel ties? Yes, of course. If you were going to bind some books, you would tie them up. <laughs> Very funny. Okay, that's great news. Nonconformist state maintained by Jagger. Move so moves like Jagger, I guess, right? Nonconformist. Still not sure what like I mean, we gotta put an O in, right? And I think an E. But it could be M O V I E movie somehow. Does this. Are any. Are these letters part of some nine or eight letter state somehow? I don't think so. Not an Amer not a U.S. state that I can think of. Maybe a state as in like a nation. I don't immediately see any, but okay. So counts cross friend. Tulip fits. Does it mean anything? Not really. Tol, 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 tol. This has to be a vowel. We can just try them all. A. Cross friend. Or just friend. Tally? Tally. I was right. A T is a cross. A friend is an ally. Um, and counts. I don't quite understand. This isn't like conjugated wrong. It could be like count cross friend. So a tally is a count. I don't know if you would call a tally counts. It's a little bit weird. Who the heck is this person? I know there's a kind of dog named a Samoyed. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce it. That would fit here, but I don't see how it's at all related to this. There's stayed. Strayed? Left and took a different path, maybe? Let's pencil that in. Move 
A maverick, a maverick is a nonconformist. Oh, we did it! My second cryptic crossword with no help. I looked some stuff up, but I think all of them were just to confirm my beliefs about what was going in. And I was right every time I looked it up as well. Huh. Strayed. Susan. So who is this Susan person? I'm just gonna like look up on Google <laughs> Susan from TV Film Theater and see if it gives me anything meaningful. Oh, look at that. Word plays. So what is this? Huh. There's some website that's somehow devoted to like, it has this exact clue from a crossword. And it's telling me, oh, okay, here's the answer. What, what is, this is actually an interesting website. What is this? Um, let me show you guys. Wordplays.com. So what does this do? So you can write number of letters or pattern. So if I, if I were, if I were lost on this, I had J blank, I blank, blank A or something. Is that like, I would, I would type J, and I think I knew there was an I, right? Yeah, from I know. And I didn't know the L yet. The last, I just knew the I at the end. So if I said this, a clue is required? Why do I have to know the clue? I thought the point of this was... What if I type... If I type X here. That just deletes it. Thanks. Amazing. Roman numerals? This is the... Any idiot can convert Roman numerals. I don't know. My apologies if you're watching this and you can't. Anagrammer. Why do I have to know? Okay, so... Wow, so you could actually just, this sounds so lame. So if I say, I know Tom Cruise, and it's nine letters. Yeah, it'll just tell me. Oh, of course. Score team, scour time to peruse a news magazine. Wow, okay. Huh. Stir up rodents, rouse the mice. <laughs> That's funny. Huh. I don't think I want to start using this website, but it could be an interesting way to, like, uh, I don't know, once the puzzle is over, maybe understand the word, the, the answers better. But I still didn't find out what the hell was the deal with this Susan. Hollywood Susan. Susan Hayward. Oh, that doesn't seem relevant. Susan Peters. I don't know. If you look up Susan and Hollywood, like, Susan Hayward is the one. Huh. I don't know. Weird. What are some other ones that I didn't totally figure out? I can't hit enter to cycle through the clues because I have some pencil in here. Knickknacks for bookbinders, we figured out. Typos, yes. Strayed is a mystery. Unlocks, yeah. Rice pudding. Although, yeah. Rice pudding is for dessert. That's fine. Intersperse, yeah. Quarter, yeah. I still don't understand why this highlight... It's a misrepresentation of sport. Eat in makes sense. Equinoxes, yeah. Keeps at it, we figured out. Tit, asp, eek. <laughs> uh, wombs, yeah. Ministry, right. Maverick, tally. Still, like, a little bit on the fence about this clue. Iliad, right? We got it. 
Costumier. Get a leg up. We had to understand elate, which is a tricky one. Obsess, yeah. Uh, where's the next down exactly? I guess I could just do it this way, huh? Additions, right? Printing, sprinting, detergent. Or Alex Am. Classes, yeah, I still don't totally love this with brains. Squeak. I feel like this would be a better clue if they removed the A. Tumultuous Quakes, that's fine. I'm not totally in love with making, but it might be legal wordplay for them to say, Tumultuous Quakes making high-pitched sound, right? Maybe that's allowed. But anyway, the, letter, the word A is totally redundant and I think should be removed. Arrest Unhinged Philosopher. Yeah, we got that pretty quickly. Still don't love... Likewise, this is just seems wrong. They already told me. Recalled Expert on Iodine is fine. Yeah, so the only one I don't understand is Hylai, I guess, and this Susan person. Susan Strayed. Oh. A strayed is, yeah, there's a person named Cheryl Strayed. But not a Susan. Or Strayed, I don't know how you pronounce it. Why does she show up under Susan? Is it her middle name or something? Is this, am I insane? Huh, I don't know. Our Wikipedia page doesn't have Susan in it at all, but when you search for Susan Strayed, you get Cheryl Strayed. Huh. Okay, cool. Well, you know, let's. That's that's great news. You guys go if you want to celebrate this. I don't know. You have my blessing to celebrate in whatever way you feel like having fun. Do a cryptic crossword, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.